So in this video, we'll be seeing a technique called PPID spoofing, parent process ID spoofing. So we will be creating a normal process. So this is our process and we'll be creating another process that is child process. And there is another process. And after creating the process, we will be updating one attribute value that is parent process attribute value. So we will be updating that value to the handle of this process. So it seems like this process is created by this process. So this will be seem like a child process to this process. So that's what we are going to do. So we will be using the initialize prop thread attribute risk to create a list of the attributes and we will be updating that attributes uh, here we can see the parent process the rp value parameter is a pointer to a handle to a process to use instead of the calling process so instead of our calling process we will be using the handle of the another process we want to spoof and that process must have the process create uh, process access right so this process should have process uh, create process so that means that process should be able to create new processes so first we'll be initializing uh, this attribute list so the first parameter is out parameter so that means the function will do some operations and it will gives us the pointer to attribute list and the second parameter is the attribute count so how many attributes we want to update that is added here and the flags must be 0 and the size is if we specify the null parameter for the first parameter we will be getting the amount of size we want to allocate for these attributes so here in the remark section you can see first call this function with the attribute count parameter set to maximum number of attributes we want to use and then we'll be setting the last uh, one to null so so first one to null if we send the first parameter as null the last parameter will be the size amount size of uh, buffer we want to allocate for these many number of attributes so i have already opened the process we are getting the handle So let's call this function initialize proc thread attributes. So the first parameter will be null and attribute count. We are going to update the value of only one attribute that is parent process attribute. So specify specify one and the flags zero and this will be the out uh, parameter size so let's say let mute list size now pass this mutable reference of this list size now we can go and print this value size of list size So let's run this. Now we can see the 48 is the size. Now before that we should also specify this extended uh, startup info present value in the creation flag for the uh, create process function so we are going to create a extended startup uh, info structure so let's go and declare that one so let mute si is equals to and we are going to get the startup info xa 
now if you click on this one you can see the first parameter first member is startup info structure and the second parameter is pointer to the thread attribute list so we will be allocating this much amount of size and that pointer should be uh, assigned to this rp attribute list member so first let's initialize this one startup info or we can directly assign the size here you can see the cb should be uh, set to the structure size so si dot startup info dot cb is equals to stdmem size of value si so we have set the size now we have the rest size the para attribute rest size we need to allocate some memory virtual alloc size is rest size mem commit and reserve and then protection type can be read write execute and we will get the return value as red mute base pointer so this is the pointer to the buffer of the attribute list so instead of storing this in the base pointer we can directly store in this value so we can say si dot lp attribute list now we will get an error because this is a raw pointer and this is a pointer to proc thread attribute list so we can we can cache this one or you can apply transmute here it will automatically convert this value to this value now we need to call this function again but now we need to specify the first parameter as this one this pointer so at this pointer we have this list size and this will initialize all the attributes so so we can directly copy this one and paste here we need to modify the first parameter that is si dot lp attribute list and the attribute count is one flex zero and the list size now we have successfully initialized these uh, attributes now we need to update these attributes so the first parameter so let's write this so the first parameter is pointer to attribute list created by this so we can say si dot lp attribute list and the flags is reserved and must be zero and the attribute so this is proc thread attribute parent process so i did not get this uh, value uh, from windows api uh, create interest i searched in p invoke and i got the value that is 20000 in hexadecimal so put the value here and the lp value so the actual value we want to write but it's not actual value a pointer to the value so that means we need to allocate some memory again so virtual alloc and how much amount of size we need to allocate this uh, process and the length so for 64 bit versions we are target 8 bytes so the return value will be the base pointer it's call this as the handle pointer 
and at this address we are going to write the p handle value actual value not the pointer so std pointer write and the destination in the source so the date sorry the destination is handle handle pointer as mute i64 because we want to write 8 bytes and the source is p handle as i64 so now the value of this process handle will be written at this handle pointer now we can pass this value handle pointer and the size is 8 and the return value this can be null now we have updated the uh, attributes all we need to do is we need to create the process so create process a and the application name can be null and the command line is we are going to pop up the cmd.exe so let mute p name is equals to system 32 cmd.exe and don't forget the null byte at the end and we need to convert this into bytes dot as pointer as constant i8 and now for uh, we can pass we need to create a security attribute structure so ps stands for process attributes so we have created the structure let's copy this and paste here for the thread attributes we need to fill the size of this structure in this n length member so pa dot n length is equals to std mem size of value pa now copy this and do the same for thread attributes now pass these values and now for the creation flags here we need to specify the extended startup info present and we should also create a new console so environment can be null this will be uh, inherited from the parent process and the current directory also null and the startup info let mute let mute si is equal also oh, we have already created this extended startup info so we need to pass that one so si dot sorry ampersand mute si dot startup info and the process info So pass this mutable reference. So 
so we need mutable reference for this now we are good to go so let's go and run this one so before that we need to specify under which process we want to uh, spoof our child process so i have already run in this powershell under that under the administrator and we have who am i privileges we have the c debug privilege enabled so that we can get handle to any process so copy this any process pid which is running under nt authority system and now paste here now let's go and run this So let's first build this one. Okay, we are good to go. Let's run this, and we can see CMD popped up. If you type who am I, we should see we are the system. Here we have we are the only administrator. Here we are the system. So we have successfully spoofed our child process, uh, parent process for the child process. as the pro as the one of the process running under the ntr that is system so this is how ppid spoofing works